match reaction. Manchester United three, Sheriff nil. Webby, kick us off your overall thoughts on that game, mate. I just know, I just don't know how Sheriff won it. The burn about the other year, you know, they've come here. I look at it right. I don't expect them to come gun out, but some of these players will never play at Old Trafford again. Go and enjoy yourself. You know, they just wanted it behind the ball, and we struggled to break them down. You know, once we got the first goal, it was always going to come that we'd win the match. I just uh, thought it was a bit slow at times, you know, penetration, the passing was slow. Thought Ganacho, it was made for him, you know what I mean? He hope he's involved. I don't think if he obviously he'll start on Sunday, but he's, he's, he's put a marker down now for the team, like you can count on him. Uh, now, they aren't anything that, <laughs> it was just embarrassing. He was like Nanny on Wiz. You know what I mean? Doing that and him booting the ball out. Maybe he was going to bring him off at half time anyway, but it's three points we, we needed to move it on to the, the last game at Solskjaer you had. Yeah. I asked Tony earlier on, you know, we mentioned uh, Garnaccio and yeah. um, partnerships. Who do you think the best partnership we've got is down that left hand side with full back and forward? Shaw and Rashford all day long. You know, we're. Shard obviously was out of the team, come back in deservingly back in the team. For me now, he's the number one left back and that's nothing against the young Dutch boy. Uh, Marcus, is, I know he's played a lot at nine this year, but for me, he's, he's better on the left, you know. So for me, it's Luke Shard and Marcus uh, on the left-hand side and you think that, you'll, that will start on Sunday against West Ham London. West Ham London. Yeah. Uh, Ronaldo, he bagged one tonight. Do you expect him to start on Sunday? I do, but I wish Martial was fit. That's another bear bugger man. You know my thoughts of him. You know, you look at his pre-season and when he come on against Liverpool, change the game in my eyes, but you can't count on him. So will Rashford play? Uh, will Ronaldo play? Possibly. You know... West Ham aren't going to give us a lot of space are they as well, whether they're going to sit back. So would it suit us better for Ronaldo who operates inside that box, get the crosses in? Yeah, you know what you get with West Ham. need. They're a funny team this year. Last year, they set the, the world on fire, didn't they, really? Mm. Uh, but they've won one, lose two, draw the game. But you know what you're going to get? Team of bricklayers. I think last year, we scored the winner in the injury time. Rashford won it yeah. right the last kick of the game. So you're not going to get there. not going to come up. You know, me and Dad have spoken. We've spoken about, remember the cup match the other year when they just come for extra time and penalties? Uh it's going to be an hard game, but I expect if we fit and we're fighting, then we take the three points. Delo got on the score sheet tonight, yeah. going performance. I'm glad, you know what, Kieran? I'm glad he got a break, you know, because obviously Juan Vazak has come, is now fit again, not fit enough to be in the match day squad today, but he's played every minute of the game and his fatigue coming up and the kid's got a World Cup round the corner where he's probably going to start off for, for Portugal and he needs a rest. And so I'm glad, I know it's only half an hour, but it's half an hour where he was sat on the bench and he wasn't running around. And do you know what I mean? I won't one of his biggest fans alone my hands up that, but you can't knock him this season. He's been consistently good and rightly deservedly staying in the team. Adam Maguire got uh, some minutes tonight, come on at half time. Um, back, big Barry's back. Big Barry in the microwave. He is his big back. <laughs> and got got the book in, you know. But is an addition we, we need there. We've run obviously out until after the World Cup now. Lindelof. I think if everybody's who, fit, sorry, Webber, who would you prefer to, to start alongside Martin as Lindelof or Lindelof, Maguire? Lindelof all day long. Uh, just got that extra bit of pace. You know, and that's nothing against Maguire. I think Maguire had looked mint in a back three, but the manager's not going to play a back three. For England, he's going to start because Southgate likes a back three and he looks good. I mean, you and your dad look good in the back three. You know what I mean? But no, if everybody's fit, then obviously it's Varane Martinez. If Varane's out, then for me, it's Lindelof all day long. Any other positives that you took from tonight's game? Any individual performances where you think, yeah, they're definitely starting against West Ham? Casemiro starts, obviously. Good, he had a break. Thought Ericsson looked well. Probing, you know what I mean? But it's hard when you're getting all, you know, they put 10 players, 11 players behind the ball. And rightly so, they didn't want to come in and get hammered. But when you've not scored or won your last four games, you know, I just thought they were poor. See, the team, they went to the Bernabeu not so long ago, a few years back, and beat Real Madrid the year they won it. So I was a bit disappointed. But you know the team, what the team will be the low... Spanish David Net, Shaw, Victor, uh, Martinez, a midfield of Casemiro, Edickson, Bruno, uh, Antone, uh, Rashford, and Ronaldo up from yeah, my not, team for Saturday, Sunday. Sorry, I'm, I'm not sure what the uh, Saucy Dad game finished tonight, but I mean, two up, I think he was. Okay, so how many goals would we have to we, beat them we, by? Is it one or two no, we have to, to finish top? Two, 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 by two clear goals. Do you think we can do it? Do you think we can do it? 
we've got the firepower, haven't we? No disrespect to you. If you look at the match against Solskjaer, that it was a sombre mood of the Queen's passing away. Uh, they got the penalty, which I still can't believe was given a penalty. We had enough chances to win two matches. They had a good team, but I think going over there, that we've got enough firepower to get two or three goals. They're not the greatest. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying we are, but I think we've got enough power to go over there. And if it's 0-0 after 60 minutes, 70 minutes, don't panic. I just think we've got enough power, firepower if he picks the right 11 that will go over there and top the group. But then on the other hand, no disrespect to the teams we played here this year. I want a proper European night. Now, if we come second, we've got that two-game playoff against the team. We could draw the likes of Juventus under the lights here. Great. AC Milan. You know, so it could be good. So, let's see what happens. So, uh, obviously, once we finish socks, it's two less games. But let's just wait and see. If we finish second, then we've got to beat what puts into us. No problem. Anything else to add, Webby? Are we wrapping it up there? I had lovely chips and cutter at half time. It did actually look nice when I walked back. It looked abs it was absolutely mint, pal. That was the best part of the night, apart from Ganacho, the chips and cutter. The chips and curry. That was uh, one of the best uh, parts of the night for Webby. Let us know what you think on today's video. Get your own comments in and opinions on tonight's match. Smash a like, subscribe if you like our content, and we will be back on Friday with another video. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers Webby. Man. Nice one, mate.